Let's talk about things that happens when people rush into a relationship. So in today's podcast, Sissy and I, we're going to talk about how screwed up things could get when you rush into a relationship. So stay Stay tuned. tuned. Hey, Blissful friends, welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of the Blissology Podcast. I am your host, CC, and I'm joined by my other host. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Will, and welcome hubby. back to another episode. Yeah, she called me Will as opposed to hubby. Anyway, so welcome back. I did not call you Will. She called me Will instead of hubby. I said my hubby. other host. She called me Will instead of hubby. I did anyway, not. so <laughs> this is Will, and welcome back to another episode. This uh, is relationship. If this is your first time with us... <laughs> Please remember to subscribe and hit on that notification bell so we can notify you when we put out new videos. Now, this is a weekly podcast where we talk about... We talk about love, family, relationships, and my husband think I call him his name, which I don't. <laughs> we argue a lot because we I don't. get tired about his stuff, <laughs> you know? So this is what happened when you've been married for over 10 years. You kind of like, stop getting on my nerve. Yeah, we'll talk about all that here. So welcome back, guys. <laughs> so yes, you know, as we get into the topic of the day, we like to go into her blissful moment. Our our blissful moment. Okay. Yeah. So what is yours, baby? Uh mine is a little bit unusual this week. Um I'm I'm, I'm I'm getting near to completing this project that I started a couple of months back. So a I'm, couple? I'm, I feel like almost like a good a year. I started back in March. That's not a couple. Couple is two. Yes, <laughs> yeah, she's right. <laughs> See, she's calling me out, but she's right. So I'm 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 getting close to to the end of the, of, of the project, and and day after day, it's 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 getting it's getting to 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 where I'm feeling. Yeah. That this yeah. is getting there. However, I've been spending a, a little bit of a longer nights. Uh, the last few nights have been going to bed at around we, um, two you. o'clock. <laughs> yes. And, and part of that is sometimes that there are things that I'm doing. It's good that uh, it makes it easier for me to just be able to focus and stay with it. Mm-hmm. And on top of that, there's a number of things that I do while they're up. So I have to wait until they get to bed so I can okay. jump in and get these wrapped up. But um, let's up. No. That's not your bliss moment. Listen, how could you be asleep when there's drilling at one o'clock in the morning? Like my (laughs) husband is like up and drilling and doing things with the making loud noise to the point where I had to tell him, listen, the neighbors are going to call cops on you. Okay. And I'll open the garage and show them, hey, I'm working (laughs) in my house. So what do you want to do? It's like (laughs) who get up at i actually not get up but who works who's drooling things at 1 32 a.m i am and, I'm, <laughs> and my mom is like um is he going somewhere <laughs> i'm always going somewhere oh my god i mean yes yes hey, but this, this is what i say that sometimes there are things you need to do and sometimes you may have to stay up a little bit later than usual yeah just drilling to, stuff just to get it done now i'm done <laughs> drilling at night last night i had to cut some tiles but the loud noises are done. Now it's kind of like getting to to the point where I can work until 4 a.m. No one would even realize that. And I'm then working. go to work in the morning? Yeah. And listen, God's been blessing me with the energy. I can stay up late mm-hmm. and without having to have coffee in the morning. Some people have to have the coffee when they wake up. Uh, no, I, I, I get up. I do. I shower. I put on my clothes and I'm ready to go. I have and, to and have I'm my blessed. coffee. I'm in the blessed morning. to be able to do that, and 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 obviously, I don't I don't intend to make that an ongoing thing. I know eventually, if I if I make that a a common practice, I'm going to pay for it later in life. No, I'm only doing this for this time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, you will. But I need my coffee in the morning. Like, listen, guys. Last weekend, I short short story. Now I'm not going to make it long. Last Saturday, we were out and about doing some showings and looking at some new. Um, models home here in palm beach florida so here's the thing i didn't have my coffee okay <laughs> i had a very my Unusual energy morning. was so low i mean it's the thing where you want it when you gotta have it, you gotta have it and i don't know how i didn't get it in the morning because typically i'm like grab my cup and out about ready to go 
But somehow I left it, and I was like, either we stop by Starbucks and get something, yeah. But because we're running late, and I'm like, okay, I'll I'll be okay. But listen, I should have just listened to myself and said, let's just go to Starbucks and get a coffee and be God. But my energy was so wacky. Where I came home that night, I was like, I was out. I had no I energy. I saved seven dollars by not going to Starbucks. <laughs> He always says that. But I have Starbucks coffee at home, so I drank that at home. But somehow, I don't know what happened. But here's the thing. When you are so, you know, used to something, especially if it's coffee. Like, my mom and I, we drink coffee like crazy. And I and I think my brother, too. You're not a big fan of coffee. No. Like, you you have it, you have it. You don't. Like, but today, I I'm have only it. having some coffee because you are having some. And I'm like, Yeah. I might as well just have some, but then I can go a couple of weeks without touching the coffee. No, I got to have it every morning. I got to have it every morning. Otherwise, I'm not going to be productive. That's just how it is. And just like when you work out, if you miss a day, you don't work out, you feel like crappy. That's the one thing I do my best to avoid with coffee. I don't ever want to depend on coffee. I depend on coffee. (laughs) Coffee is my life. Oh, man. That's my life. Coffee is my life. So I need it every single morning. Okay. Don't come at me. Don't bother me. Let's get it. And I am good to go. <laughs> okay. And I'm sure I'm not the only one. Okay. Well, my mom is already the second person that I know that really and depend on coffee. For husbands who's got wives who's got coffee issues, don't take trips to Starbucks every day. <laughs> I found out. Oh, yeah. That, I don't which, do that, that was shared with me by. um by my boss that get those K-cups. You you get like about 80 of them mm. per box and it costs just like $30 if you're getting on sale, maybe slightly less. That's a lot cheaper than going to sure Starbucks is. for 30 cups of coffee. It is at cheaper. seven bucks. It is cheaper, but it doesn't taste the same. Because you know, when you go get coffee, coffee is coffee. No, it's not the same. <laughs> it's not the same. They have their specialties <laughs> over there at Starbucks. We just get, we you know, we have the K cup and the creamer, and that's it. Starbucks, they put swirl, they put like syrup, they put a lot of stuff in there that makes you want to come back. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. Not the anyway, same. So much for coffee <laughs> and Starbucks, but get the K cups. It's, yes. uh, it's a lot cheaper. <laughs> yes, yeah, save you a lot of money. <laughs> And get one cup every now and then if you have to, like me. You know, on the weekend, I like to please myself. I go and get me one cup. Either I get the dragon fruit or we're I get the coffee. We're not going today. Today, we're not going to Starbucks. She's got hers right here. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, so let's get into the topic of the day. That's right. Which is, don't rush things into a relationship. You're bound to run into issues when you rush into stuff. Mm-hmm. Right? That's right. You know, um, I know this hasn't happened to me where I felt like I've gotten into a relationship sooner than I should, but I'm sure many people have. Yep. You know, you, you see this person and you want to be with them and you kind of force your way into their mm-hmm. lives. And sometimes it works out. Sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it doesn't work out. No, and you're like, what did I get myself into, you know? (laughs) Uh, Well, you know, it's it's important to be with someone. It's important to be with someone where you feel appreciated, where you feel loved. But um, Mm -hmm. but I understand that sometimes, you know, we have to let things run its course. Yes. Um, Yes. Being rushed can feel unnatural, right? Absolutely. Like, here's the thing. When you are rushed into something and you don't get a chance to know the person, I feel like, because my story, y'all, you know, we have tons of, um, we we share a lot of, um, of our stories here on the podcast. So we were friends prior. We dated. Um, but it's good to know the person before you just jump into it because you don't know their backstory. You don't know who they are. They may be a serial killer. I mean, I'm just saying <laughs> you don't know they are. So I feel like nowadays a lot of the young people, like who's like in their early 20s, they feel yeah. like they're missing out if they're not being in a relationship. 
I don't know if it has to do with the social media, you know, giving them this this ideas where you got to be with mm. someone, you got to have a man or you got to have a girlfriend. And there's a lot of people who feel like if they don't have someone, they're not, something is wrong yeah. with them. It, it, listen, it's important. It feels good to have someone. Of course, it, of course. It feels that that's why I kept this woman. It feels by. good to have the right partner in your life. Sometimes when you're crazy lonely, I think anyone would do. <laughs> oh, snap. Okay. <laughs> but but it, it feels good to have someone in your life. And, but at the same time, make sure that the person is in your life for the mm-hmm. right reason. Because if you force yourself into someone's life, you can push that person away. I know yeah. it'll be a big turnoff for me. Right. If, uh, if my intentions is not to be with you, but you kind of force yourself into me, mm-hmm. I'll probably block your phone number on my phone make sure that i maybe like unfriend you on on social media well i probably wouldn't have friend you just to start with but but it it could push people away yeah so i was actually reading this um i don't know if it was a post on facebook or on instagram or what was platform i don't remember what it was it was this guy who's like how do i get rid of this girl who's constantly (laughs) you know um texting calling me she's, and harassing, she's him. harassing him and, and he's like i need help she's a pretty girl i'm just not into her and a lot of time it's hard for us women to feel like okay why aren't you not into me and and we tend to not well, she take- thinks she has it all she yeah and and that could be confusing to that person i'm pretty and i'm, I'm good i then but you're not into me yeah, and I feel like we tend to take, like, rejection pretty bad. Like, when someone says, I'm not into you. But you're like, damn, this is a guy. This, I really like this dude. But then he's like, this is, like, crazy. And I'm like, I hope he doesn't go get a police report on this girl. Because, listen, nah, I, I mean, hope if, it doesn't go that far. If the girl is showing up at his house <laughs> um, unannounced, knocking on his door while he's, he's, he's hiding wherever he's hiding to not answer the door, then that's a problem. Yeah. Or if, if, if the girl is following him to work, yeah, that that's a stalker. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't want to go that far. And I truly feel like too, when you rush into, when you rush into like a relationship, you become to it's, me, it's, it's like, it's not as attractive. It's not. No, it's not. It's like, Mm-mm. what I, Mm-mm. Like you're trying to, you're trying to get close to me, rubbing on me when I don't want you rubbing on me. That's that's <laughs> <laughs> right. And okay. and you know, forcing yourself into someone can take different shape or form. Sometimes yes. making little comments or oh, I'd really tell the person you love them. It's like <laughs> how do I how do I respond to that? <laughs> and this is where it feels so unnatural. It and does. you gotta let things run. The, the proper course otherwise yes you're gonna turn mm-hmm. this person off and yes it's not attractive yeah <laughs> when you're in new china listen i've seen a lot of these girls out there trying so hard and they do whatever they gotta do to you know make him see her or i mean if he is the right person for you it'll come naturally that's what i that's that's something that i really want every single one of you girls out there to listen if he's the right person he like the feeling will come so naturally where you're not trying so hard yeah. to like trying to get his attention. Well, it's good to get people's attention. Well, yeah, absolutely. Because you know you but could don't be try there so hard and never get noticed if you're not. Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. you keep yourself sharp around this yep. person if you like them, you know, or like her, because it happens with guys as well. But keep yourself sharp around mm-hmm. this person. Be supportive and be be a good friend. And, yeah. and kind of let it lead into it. However, you got to be cautious. You don't want to stay on the friend zone if 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 that's not what you, where you want to be. Yeah. In. Um, and sometimes you can let this person know that you're attracted to them. Mm-hmm. But but we don't do that. C- I don't c- know. Keep but it at a level <laughs> where, yeah. where it's not it's it's not scaring that person. Away. Right. And feel the person because and this is what's important to be friend first. Mm hmm. If you, if you have the opportunity to do so, because yeah. that allows you to really understand what this person likes and what they yeah. don't like. And you kind of gauge that to see, does it make sense? Or is that even really the right person for me? Yeah. And, and they I kind of take it from there. Absolutely. And I truly feel like, you know, either if you're not friend, friend with that person first, 
But at least you you are in a dating mode where you not rushing to get married. You like, okay, let's date for a yeah. year, two years, three years, just so I know who you truly are. There's yeah. a lot of time where we see this guy. I'm going to say guy because I'm a girl. Mm-hmm. We see this guy in a year into the relationship, we think we're ready to get married. Like, how much of it do you really know this person? And how much of it are you comfortable with this person? You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, I don't think a year is enough. Like, we did it for a good, what, three, four years? We did it for a good three, four years. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and my mom is like, okay, it's time. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> and for, for some people, a year may be enough. But it needs to be something that's good for both individuals. I don't know. Yeah, l- listen. A year? Um, nah, you don't learn. So you if, don't learn a lot from this person a year. If I'm if I'm dating this person, and after a year, both of us mm. are in agreement. You know what? We we've known enough about each other. We can move forward. I don't know. Then, then it may make sense because not one is forcing it into the other. See yeah, I, mean? I see what but, you mean. But when it when it's one that thinks that hey, it's time, it's been a year, and the other mm-hmm. one's like, I'm not quite there yet. It's this like is what year. becomes an issue, you know. But if we're both good with it, sure. I've known people that get married like six months after they started dating. No, that's it's on them. That's this. Are they still together? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> but um, but yeah, and, and this is this is where it's. It's it, it'll vary from individuals to individuals. Mm-hmm. But yeah, a year to me that seems short to be able, you know, it's it's not enough time right to really learn all about this person to yeah. make uh a long term commitment to them. Mm-hmm. However, some people sometimes what to learn about them is very little. You can learn that in a day. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, no, no. Yeah. To me, I feel like a year. It's like you know, when you're a baby, you're still learning. There's a lot of things that you don't know yet. So that's the same concept. Like when you are dating someone a year, it's just like you're still in baby phase. Listen, so these days, for the amount of stuff people <laughs> share on social media, and you don't know you if it's real. Learn. You don't know if it's real. Well, yeah, sometimes they they you don't they, know if they, it's real stuff on it. That's not. But but you can learn a whole lot. About someone. And if this person's ready to go, they'll just be an open book to you. Okay. You just have a list of all the things you want to know. And sometimes people move in together sometimes a few months after they started dating. Good for them. And moving in together allows you to get to know this person I even know. more. I don't know about that. Well, we didn't do it. So I, I, I don't know what it feels like, but I've known people who have. And well, that puts them in a position to really learn about this person. So yeah, but not after work. a month, not after six months. Moving in together? Yeah. Man, I'm moving together three months after Sunday. Oh, my God. This is crazy. But, I I mean, this is what they want. You know, this is what they like. Yeah. So, if it works for them, great. But if not, that's some, you know, do something else. Mm-hmm. You know, here's another thing. I truly feel like um, a lot of time when people rush into a relationship is because yeah. the thing is you, you can get hurt pretty easily. Well, yes. You yeah. can get hurt and... You can put too much out too early. And some, sometimes there's emotions that you may think are real, mm-hmm. but it's just for the moment. And that could be confusing to sometimes you or the person that you in, you're in that relationship with. So, and again, it comes down to kind of let things run their course. Right, right. Give it the time to really develop those. Remember, when it comes to loving someone, it's an emotion that you develop. Mm-hmm. And you develop it based on how much you've learned about this person, right. um, how much you, you 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 can interact, you can connect with this person, mm-hmm. and, and that's where that love comes in. Sometimes the initial attraction has nothing to do with love. It's just, yes, <laughs> I like this person. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that allows you to have that initial interest, and mm-hmm. then you build on that. Yeah. And this is where it's, it's important not to confuse liking with loving because mm-hmm. i can like this person they look good they dress well yeah and then we get together and i realize that this person is a mess i can't take you <laughs> anywhere <laughs> right so don't confuse the, the the liking the initial attraction with love because mm-hmm. love goes a lot deeper than that physical attraction that yeah that I know us guys, we see someone who looks good and you're showing your body, you're carrying your body a certain way. Yes, we're like, wow, 
You got it. But we don't love this person. You got it, or is We're it far real? from loving this person? We just kind of see you. See, and- that's the problem because to a lot of girls, they think that there's more to it than just you guys just like them. Nah, to if a I lot see of girls, you look good, we just like the way you look. Mm. It's, it has we been- take it different. We take it different, and this is this is why a gain get it's not emotional. our fault. Like you- it is not our fault. <laughs> okay. It is not our fault. Listen. But you guys be singing. Listen, but I feel like you guys be sending the wrong signal too. Like if you How? If we like the way someone looks? No, that's not the wrong signal. You may perceive that the wrong way. True. Because there's there's no way that says, I want to be with you just because I like the way you look. Mm -hmm. Or if someone pays you a compliment, that doesn't mean that I want to be with you. No. I just like the way you look. Now, I'm a married man. I don't do that. I don't pay people compliments. Sissy will chop my head off. Well, I can give you a compliment and say, hey, you have some good looking shoes. <laughs> you said that to a girl? No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> I'm just checking. <laughs> you can pay someone a compliment and then yeah. it's just a compliment. That doesn't mean that, hey, I'm about to get your number and we're going to hang out. No. All it means is that you look good. And it stops there. So don't confuse that because some people do. Yes, some people do. And that's why a lot of time that we get hurt in the process. And this is why a lot of time people would think that, oh, he thinks I look good. He likes me. And therefore, this is a thing. Let me just throw myself on. And then next thing you know, it's not a thing. He's just saying that you look good and that's it. Yeah. I mean, it's something that a lot of us, we... A lot of us get hurt by this, you know? Yeah. So don't, don't, don't throw yourself at somebody just because maybe they like the way you look or maybe they pay you a compliment or maybe you hang out with them once. Mm. Yeah. Now, if you like this person, obviously you can, you can show or maybe share with them, hey, I like you back. And if that leads into something great, but if it doesn't, don't take it as, gee, something's wrong with you. You no, nothing's wrong with you. Yeah. You just like the way you look, and that's it. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. And I think that's important. Is uh, you know when when you rush, when you try to rush things, the environment you create many times does not give love a chance to develop mm-hmm. because things are being pushed through too quickly, and you know the 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 things that. That, that the other person may have needed to to experience to be able to love you, you just skip that whole step altogether. Right, right, <laughs> right. True, true. Imagine you haven't even made a connection to this person and they're trying to kiss you. Yeah. Like, wait. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing here? <laughs> right? So, and the other thing, listen, some people are good in the physical thing, the hand-holding or I go on a date with you and maybe it's the first date. I don't want to hold your hands. So don't, don't push that. Mm-hmm. Let it be that, you know, maybe at the end of the day, we feel connected. We had a really good conversation. We really, right. really get to know each other. So maybe I'll go for a kiss at the end of the day. Or maybe after we've had that dinner, we feel like so close to each other. Then we'll walk with hand holding and all that mm-hmm. stuff. But don't come out of the car that pick you up thinking about, I'm going to hold your hands. <laughs> What? It's, Damn, baby, but why you gotta say it like that though? <laughs> this is me saying that we, we guess at the right expectations because because there, there there are things that we do. It's the moment that dictates is it the right time to do it. Just like now, it's not just a girl holding the guy shouldn't do the, the, that that either. You know, it's if if it's not that moment, if I barely know you, there's certain things that I'm not gonna do with you. Yes, and it's the same thing too. When you think it's the first date, um, don't think that you're gonna get something on the first date. No, if you think that you take me out to dinner and we are just getting to know each other, like men, sometimes the way you guys think it's just that okay, she's pretty, she's fine. Yeah, There's listen, something sometimes there. Guys have urges that develops. No, it's just a date. It's just a date. It's just a a, a a a a something like a moment for us to get to know each other. Don't think that you're gonna rush me into something that I'm not ready for. Yeah, you know that that can happen. So and some guys, you know, they have a very. Um, this is why we carry <laughs> pepper spray. Yes. 
You don't want to pepper just, spray your, 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 uh-uh. your date. Just in case if you want to make a move like that, I will do so. Trust and believe. Yes, and good thing you didn't do that. So this is why it's still here. See, I could have been pepper spray. <laughs> Listen, nah, nah, no a lot of these guys, they think just because we went on, just because we, you know, we say, hey, let's go for a drink or let's get to know each other. Get to know each other doesn't mean anything further than let's go eat. And maybe, like you said, depending on how, on, on how things turn, turn out, then we so can take a if, drive. If you're a guy and you're looking to do this, make sure that you get as many drinks as you can. Oh, God, please that don't do ease, that. Baby, that will really? ease the process of <laughs> Don't listen to him. Bad advice. Bad advice. That's why I call. Bad advice. This is this is not good. Don't do that. That's abusive. That's manipulating. Don't get the girl drunk thinking that you're gonna get something. So see, this is where sometimes <laughs> the environment though can turn out to be really bad yes. if you do that when you try to get a get me drunk. If you do that, then I definitely know this is not going to work out. Well, you wouldn't know that I'm trying to get you drunk. It would just keep Oh talking. no, listen, I would know. I would like, <laughs> wait, which is this is like this is like the fifth one. What are we doing? Where are we going with this? You know? If we are having a great conversation and we like, okay, let's stop by the beach and let's continue the talk. It's great talk. You know that's when you date someone the first time you meet this person the chemistry is there everything is there and there's also when you first meet this person you're like whoa <laughs> you know what did i what did i do should, should i just get in the car and go back home <laughs> exactly exactly <laughs> yeah and, and this is where i mean the environment that you create it needs to be not manipulative mm-hmm. needs to be not uh, the uh, deceiving in any way be 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 genuine. Be, be 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 truthful to that person, and and it'll lead <laughs> into the right the right place. Don't try to trick him into getting drunk so you can get something. I was thinking of Coach B. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and and you know, sometimes you can meet the greatest person, but if you if you, if you try to push things, you can miss out on that. Yeah, because um, you know, when someone is looking to build. A, a long-term relationship, a life with you. There are certain expectations they have, which means don't don't do tricks. Don't um don't act like uh uh what's what I'm looking for hoochie around them. You know, <laughs> be conservative. Mm-hmm. In a way, show them that you're a keeper, right? Because there's some yes. guys that if if you if you come across that you you easy, you're willing to give it up. You you just want to do whatever whatever mm-hmm. like. Uh, you available all the time? Am I um if no, I I, I no. You've probably been doing this with so many others and right. I'm probably not you probably not gonna be the person that I'm gonna spend the rest of so unless if you just wanna play. Yes. But but so many of many 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 people, if they're looking for a long term relationship, right. you gotta you gotta you gotta keep in you gotta keep a close eye as to what what you do. And how you portray yourself. Mm -hmm. Because if you portray yourself being too easy, I'm willing to do whatever without even getting to know this person. Yeah. Then what what are we saying? Are we saying that we just want to give it all? We're desperate? No. I mean, sometimes when guys are looking or when and girls too, and they're looking for someone. Mm-hmm. To spend their lives with, yeah. they're looking for something different, and they're looking yeah. for something that goes beyond the physical. Mm-hmm. They're looking for something that is sustainable, long term. That's true. And and yes, so you can miss out if you're trying to force that. You know, you're trying to trying to give him what he doesn't want yet. Yes, and I definitely or agree. Her. I definitely agree, and I think too. I'm just gonna speak for the young woman, for the young ladies, is that. You could miss out on the right one, like the one, right? The one. If you are just, I don't want to say, but taking anyone, you know, you're like, (laughs) I'm going to try this one. I'm going to try that one. I'm going to try that one. Be selective. Here's the thing. You know who you are. You know what you bring and you know how well you can, you know, a good woman. You are a good wife. Yeah. You you already have a good year. man. It's not all about the girl. Listen, I'm talking about. For, I'm talking for the ladies. Okay, <laughs> I'm talking for my ladies. Okay, so it's okay to take your time 
to let the right one come along. It's okay to be open-minded too, right? I know in our community, in our society, that it's hard for us to step outside of our own race, you know, our own culture, because we get judged for being different different right so here's the thing you want to take um take your time it's okay if you're like in your early 20s early 30s or even early 40s even early 40s even early 50s yeah no (laughs) no (laughs) or that yeah you could be retiring here's the thing stop it babe (laughs) Here's what I'm trying to say. It's okay if you take your time when he's available, he'll come to you. As long as you make yourself available, right? If you're not willing to go out there and have fun and be yourself, enjoy your life, and you feel like you're miserable because you don't have the right person yet, then again, we don't know who's right and who's wrong. The only way you'll know is when you wait for this person to come along and you date this person and then you guys spend some time together there's chemistry there there's flowers there's butterflies there's all kind of great stuff there then you know that's the right one right because i knew he was the right one because of all the butterflies of all the great things after three years yeah. <laughs> i'm just kidding um but yeah i was born right yeah he was born right <laughs> <laughs> well he was born ready so yeah so and when you're not rushing into things, it will come naturally. It will come when God says it's time, it's time, right? Yeah. So don't be so needy. Don't be so pushy. You got to have one. You got to have one. Because what's going to happen is when you have this one who's not the right one, then you miss out on the right one. So, yeah. yes, definitely don't be so... Don't be so like, I got to have one. I got to have one now. Yeah. And, and you know, one thing that's important, and, and I've known a couple of people that things didn't quite work out because of the reputation that they built over the years. Yeah. You don't want to, based on the, the activities and the behaviors that you've been engaged in, to, to have built a re- reputation that says, I've been around the block. And you got to really, Jeannie really. the block. <laughs> you, you you really need to watch out for this and i know sometimes that reputation could be built because you try to push yourself into anyone you come across yeah and that's not good and i know Believe a lot me. of people that happens to unfortunately yeah. a lot of young these ladies that i know where they're being around the block and in the you know yeah. how it is with men for, for once some of they us know men, we got it easy we can get around the block no one cares but when 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 you're a lady you you've been yeah. around the block the blocks <laughs> you've been around the blocks um <laughs> that reputation sometimes does not resonate well with a guy who's looking for a wife right yeah and, and unfortunately i've known some pretty pretty girls who's smart and you know let themselves just be and now it's they get to, to the point where that reputation follows them and guys who's looking to settle down it's difficult for them to pick someone Who's got that reputation? Yeah. You know, that takes away the wife material out of that. And the trust too. And the trust. Well, yes. You know, because guys, you know, us guys, we're jealous, but sometimes we don't show it. But at the same time, we don't want to be with someone where other people will come across and say, oh, yeah, I've I've, I've, I've been with this person. I've I hit that before. Mm. No, we we, we feel, we feel some kind of way. Normal. You know, feel some kind of way that. That um, a wife that we're committed to for for the rest of our life. I've had so many other, <laughs> <laughs> and and this is where it's important to to not keep forcing yourself in relationship. Oh, just that, move. That helps you build a reputation that can haunt you for the rest of your life. Yes and no, unless if you move out of state, unless if you start from. Well, yes. Unless Leave your you start from scratch. Yes, then no one knows your history unless you feel like you meet the one, right? Let's say you happen to move to California because you had a really bad experience here in Florida, right? So now you're starting all over again, and now you meet this great guy, and you're like, all right, I have my, we all have past. We all have things that we've done in the past, and we ashamed of, but just because I'm really into you, I'm letting you know this is me. 
this is who I am. If you want to date me, if you want to pursue me, then it's great. If not, you know, because sometimes yeah. you may move out of state and then you feel like there's a guilt in you. That's like, okay, you got to tell this person he's the great, he's, he's the one. You got to let them know what happened. What and, you did. Right. I mean, you could choose not to, but oh, you could that, choose may, not to. that may come up later. <laughs> so why not bring it up? In the beginning, why not bring it up? Hey, listen, I really into I I really like you. I I like now, how don't, we don't, are. Don't start with this. No, if, but after you, a few time, baby, I'm saying yeah. after we dated for a few months, and yeah. then you know six months, you know, like Steve Harvey no, said, wait until they marry you, and then you tell them that. No, cause. don't do that because that's not a good thing. No, don't do that. <laughs> you want to do it after ninety days? You know, Steve <laughs> Steve Harvey said that. Steve Harvey said this is. 90 days you give the cookies so if you want to wait 90 days and then you let them know this is what happened and if they if they want you still and they willing to move on then great if not yeah. okay then you know he's not the one so don't yeah. listen to him um <laughs> <laughs> yes don't listen to me that's not right but um but it, it's 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 important it's important that we we do the things that we think makes sense for a long-term relationship mm -hmm. so forcing it out yeah not only you miss out you can mess up things and and you can screw things pretty bad yes, for you yes, and the person yes, that you want to yes, be with yes yeah so you know sometimes things may seem small and perhaps insignificant but they can get in the way listen even if the person is the perfect person for you by rushing into things you can screw things you can screw things up you know you can screw things up which Patience. can causing which causes like trust issues awkward moments mm. and like what are we doing like you because you don't know your partner well enough because you feel like man this is like a whack relationship i should never rush into this mm. i wasted my you mm. know even sometimes when you're in that relationship, maybe you've years. been dating for a couple of years. If you, if one of you think you should get married, but the other one's not quite there yet, mm -hmm. by keep forcing that engagement, that marriage on them, that can be an issue as well. So sometimes you could already be in a relationship, but moving to the next step, yeah, you have to make sure that you allow it to happen when it, when it needs to happen, not force it. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't mean we don't have conversation about it. Please yeah. do have conversation about it yeah. so the other partner knows where you are and what you're looking to get. But don't trick them or trick her into yeah. getting to that level. Yes. Because that could be one thing also that turned that mm -hmm. person off. You know, this is it. Yeah. So if you're serious about a relationship, some sacrifices you got to be willing. The relationship, more like. If you're serious about the the relationship you have to be able to take a leap of faith and let it develop at its own speed yes sir you know don't rush and, it and this is where it's 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 important to have that open communication with mm -hmm. the person that you're with to really share where you are what your goals are what your expectations are in yeah. life yeah this way they'll be open to shit out with you and you can kind of align your plans mm -hmm. and yes if we're together both of our goal is to get married and build a family yeah then we know that yeah we we we, we kind of like feeling the same thing yes know? absolutely and also too if you feel like you meet the right one and if it's not financially ready it's okay to like talk about it and be like yeah. babe listen I know we're not financially ready. Um, if we're not ready to move to the next step or get married, let's keep dating and we're saving and we eventually move to the next yeah. step, right? And if that's something we both want, we can work on it together. Right. You know, this is, you know, if you can start working on things together from the dating stage to the marrying stage, you're already ahead of the game. Right. Because when you get married, all you do is work on things together. It's you just Now, don't ever force someone to be around you. Right. Right. Because at the end of the day, you're holding that person hostage. Yes. And believe me, anyone who's kept captive, their main goal is to escape. <laughs> <laughs> on that note <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So, uh, listen, let the let let the let the let the relationship run its course. That's right. And you'll find that things will happen when they're supposed to happen, and both of you will be happy, and your decisions because will be I'm in sync happy. with each other. And you'll live forever. Amen. Happily. Ever after. Ever after. I don't know about happily, but yes. <laughs> anyway, so guys, this is our <laughs> podcast on um, on um, not rushing into a relationship. And the things that could go wrong when you force yourself into someone. Yes. So please share, like, comment on this podcast if this is your first time with us remember to subscribe and hit on that notification bell so we can notify you when we put out new videos yes and y'all and know Sissy i gotta make likes it and she's gonna tell you what she what she because i can Listen, never do it the way that she you does gotta it. do so, it baby i like it when you like it she likes it when you like it <laughs> i like it when you share it she likes it when you share i it. like it when you subscribe to it and she likes it when you subscribe to it and i like it when you click on the bell icon so you don't Get so you don't miss out on any opportunity when we upload our videos. So, so she you know likes I can it. rap. She likes it when you click on the bell icon so you don't miss any opportunities when we release new videos. <laughs> yeah, so yes, don't 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 forget to check us out on the audio channel, the Spotify, SoundCloud, Apple Podcasts, TuneIn Radio, iHeartRadio, mm-hmm. Shopify. That's no, right. No, no Shopify this week. <laughs> so um, on that note. See you next time. Enjoy your weekend. And if you getting ready to start a relationship, don't force yourself into this first. Unless if that's what they want. Until then. Bye. Peace.